We got another swarm, y'all. I don't know where this one's from. From the tree. Yeah, you're you're fun. So I guess we're gonna try to catch this one too. We caught one yesterday. I'm pretty sure that they're in here. I always just pop it open. Should almost even be able to just. Oh no, it feels awfully. No, they're in there. Yep, they're in there. Because the queen can't get out. The queen clip's in there. Yeah. Wow. Cool. cool. Okay, so they're in there, which means that's, that's another... way bigger than that one. Then. Although, yeah. Like you said, uh, this one fell on the ground at one point. Yeah. Uh, it fell right behind us, which all those bees dissipated, but now we've got this. Oh, oh babe, you're going to have to climb up there. <laughs> they keep... I keep doing things and I'm not ready for them to do things. Uh, I just, I don't have a lot of time to get into my hives this time of year to um, do a lot of checking. We're in kidding season, we're milking, show season. Um, bees are just kind of like that byproduct of things that we like that are homesteading worthy, but it's just not our main focus. And that's okay, you, you can have things on your homestead that are not your main focus, that they are like strictly for pleasure <laughs> and strictly just for funsies. Um, the bees, they're just for funsies. And boy, are they being super fun this year because they're keeping me so busy. So Marky's gonna go get the ladder, like he said. He's actually gonna try to get um, a rope right here on this part of the branch and just pull it down to where I can get my hands on it to pull it down. And I'm literally probably just gonna scoop them up like on a uh, frame that's already got some drug cold so that I can kind of like catch and put it back down in here and shake it. All right guys, before we go much further into the video, you can already notice that I don't have my bee suit on, I don't have a veil on, I don't have a smoker, I don't have any of the things that you should, keyword here, that you should have when you are capturing a swarm or working bees. Normally, swarms are very docile, but in this instance, I am rushed I'm tired and I'm exhausted. I'm not really thinking on all cylinders here and I'm about to pay for it. So just keep in mind, I know, I should have on my bee suit. This is not a how-to, this is just a follow me along on our daily shenanigans. So you guys can see I definitely paid for not having on a veil. I paid for not having on any type of um, protective personal gear. I definitely got stung in my face and they were in my hair. So I'm going to come back at this swarm with Mark um, fully veiled in a bee suit. We're going to try to extract them out of this branch, but that's not going to go according to plan either. So just follow along with us. We already know we did this the wrong way, <laughs> but sometimes that's just what happens when you're rushed. This is a video on officially how not to capture a swarm. Uh -huh. So you guys can see now, like a lot of these guys are just, they're just, they're moving into the box. And so, I don't know if we've already got the queen in there or they're just like, this is home and they know. But you can just, you can just like literally see there's a bunch of them going in there. I'm probably gonna scoop some in with my hands. I got nailed in the face and the hair, by the way, like in the head. So they're a little bit calmer now. They're not as much in defense mode. They're just kind of like, they're not bopping me. They're just around me. So I'm gonna see if I can just like grab like handfuls and just put them in there. It's like light handfuls. Just gently picking them up. Not closing my hand. Which is really, it's sad because like the box is right here and literally it, they all fell right here. So if I had just taken a minute to, to move the box underneath, we'd have been completely fine. But they are, they're all moving in. But boy, did they nail me a little bit ago. Okay, so we got that hive. I got nailed 
right here and I have I still have the bee is still in my hair it's dead it's already stung me after I ran um, got stung again in the finger trying to get my stuff off when I thought all of them were off of me a uh, perfect example of what not to do when you're in a hurry and you want to catch a swarm you put on your protective equipment your your PPE your personal protective equipment that one is way more aggressive than usual and I'll tell you why it was aggressive like the Sun is setting behind us it's getting dark that's why they were so aggressive like they were literally in defense mode for the night now if it had been daytime no wind they probably would have been just as docile as, as any swarm usually is um, yeah that one we didn't handle as well but at that point I got stung I got our stuff back on and it's like this is the only way really to do this and it wasn't beautiful and it wasn't pretty but they all went in the box so apparently when the <laughs> cluster of bees exploded in the air once we cut it loose and I, it did exactly what we thought it would do is we thought it would spring back up and disperse that entire swarm and it did um, we must have gotten the queen in the box because the bees immediately started running into that box you guys saw it so I'm gonna check on them tomorrow I it's been a really long time since I've even tried to approach bees without um, like at least at the very least a veil on and um, I learned my lesson tonight but that's what happens too when you're kind of tired and you're trying to rush because you've got other things. I mean, I'm glad we caught that swarm, but I'm gonna look mighty pretty in the morning. I mean, we captured them. It wasn't pretty, wasn't the right way. This isn't a how-to. This is just a follow us on our daily shenanigans type vlog. Well, we've gone from three hives to six. To six. Yeah, Double. one walk away, one walk away split last week, and then two swarms. So, I don't know. It's kind they of like that maple tree, though. They, they really like that maple tree. If they could just pick low-hanging branches, that would be amazing. It would be really amazing. That was probably the most fight, frightening experience. Oh, and that sticker is still in my head. No wonder it still hurts. So, fun fact, like bee sting, stingers, like they still pump venom even after they're... Are you, you like, laughing at me? me? when you were talking about you're like, bee stingers. And you're like, oh, <laughs> bee stingers. Yeah, he's dead in my hair. I don't know if you guys can... It's a dead bee. Yeah, the stinger's still in my... I know, I feel so bad doing that. But, um, yeah, the stinger's still in my head. But when they, uh, they sting you, if you don't get the stinger out, it makes this, the sting so much worse because, like, it literally, like, pumps even after it's come off of the bee's body, so... Yeah, that's super fun. So I got one right here, right here, and on the hand that's holding the camera right now. Are they flagging? What are your thoughts on today's swarm? It's a rough one, but we accomplished what we set out to do. Mm -hmm. It's all you can Ain't do. Ain't always easy. Sometimes it's not pretty. As long as you get yeah. the job done, that's all that matters. I was uh, worried about them staying out overnight, though, because it's, it's getting a little chilly. Yeah. So. It honestly probably wouldn't have fared well even though it's only getting to like 48 tonight which is why i chose to shave some goats um it'll be it'll, it's still cool enough where it might not have been like the best thing for them to be out so i'm glad they're at least in a box they all went in the box which makes me think there's a queen so i have three new hives to inspect <laughs> um in about a week or so not this weekend because we have a dairy goat show this weekend um 4-H events on the fairgrounds on Saturday, the day before, which is really busy. That's probably why I made that mistake too. It's like, we're just so incredibly busy. You make mistakes and you misjudge things when you are rushed, pressed for time, or exhausted. <laughs> and Mark is usually the, uh, the voice of reason, but he's also pressed for time rushed and exhausted <laughs> so we are we're not the dynamic duo of balance that we usually are but it's yeah. my fault though i i put us into this these controlled chaotic situations i admitted it at least okay <laughs> this is from yesterday where they stung me like right right here and you can tell like there's some residual swelling on this side but like I woke up with a complete and total shiner <laughs> and uh, that's new name. That is the shiner hive. 
I went ahead this morning because it is early morning. Just finished some of my um, chores in the morning. I moved the Shiner Hive back there and I also moved the, uh, the first swarm from up here over there. Um, so that's gonna be the, the, I can't remember if this is a maple tree or an oak tree. This is the maple or the oak hive. And that is the Shiner Hive because they gave me my first ever Shiner. Never had a Shiner. I woke up this morning and was like, oh, what is, why does this feel so weird? And uh, they definitely lit me up yesterday. Looking pretty good. But I guess this is a great call out and a great example as to why you suit up. Because honestly, guys, this could have been like 10 times worse. That's from one sting. <laughs> I got two other stings like in my hair and then on my finger. So I even in that I only got four stings, but four stings is enough to make me recalculate the uh, manner in which I approach hives. But I will say most of the time swarms are super docile. That one wasn't docile. And if I could make a uh, gander about its origins based off of its attitude, I'd say that's out of the honey locust hive <laughs> because honey locust did the same thing to me, but they got me like right here on the tip of my nose. So it just made the side of my nose swell up. Um, these guys, they weren't playing around. <laughs> they gave me a shiner. <laughs>